Okay, so we are going to start our lesson. We want to thank our sponsors, Edify Uganda, for enabling children to learn. But also, I want to thank God for getting us back electricity today. Since morning, we were having problems with electricity and everything was in a blackout. But we thank God that we've got electricity now and we can be able to learn without any problem. So my dear children, I want us to pay attention to the discussion of today. This is primary four and we are going to handle social studies. And uh, I am your teacher for Team Solomon. I'm going to present water transport, okay? I'm going to present water transport. Transport. Yes, water transport. But before we look at water transport, I want us to review, to see back what we learned the last time we met. And in this review, I want us to look at uh, the cuisine that will help us to review this lesson. I want to give a few of the instructions before I go to cuisine that one, you have to make sure that you all participate in the lesson, all of you, that's the first thing. Don't stop, participate as the lesson starts. And I will not take long to start my lesson because you, we are already late by some minutes. So I will start the game immediately, okay? Okay, let me stop the sharing. And then I will reshare again. So Akoro, I want you to stop your video. Uh, Alit Sara, I want you to stop your video because it is interrupting the lesson. Okay, you don't want we don't want people to miss the lesson because your video is on. Okay, please, 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 please. I want you to pay attention and obey that instruction. I'm going to share on Quizzi so that we can get started. Uh -huh. This is our cuisine. So you get ready, you get ready, and then you make sure you participate in the lesson, right? Make sure you participate in the lesson. I'm going to share with the sound so that we can uh, we can be able to see how we are doing. Okay, review of the previous lesson. This is our review, and I'm going to start. I'm going to start this live lesson here in a classical way. So I'm going to use a chat to put the link. I'm going to use a chat to put the link so that everyone is able to see the link. Okay? I hope we are ready. Okay, let me share the link. Where is my link? Where is my link? And my link is right here. I'm going to share the link. Okay. Okay, let me copy the link. And via what? Let me copy the link. Okay, 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 okay. Let me first copy the link is here. I'm going to take this link to our chat room and we all click that link and we get started, okay? On the chat room, here we are. The link is there. I'm going to make sure that everyone sees it, okay? So that is our link. Just click the link and then we get started, okay? Click the link and we get started. Yes, click the link and we get started. Just click the link and we get started. Okay, I've already seen one. Wow, 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 wow. People are already joining. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Kalik store, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Kana, Kairu, Kaka. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Line. And thank you, Muksa. People are already joining the game. I told you I'm not going to take long to start this game because we are already late. 
So I will start it immediately. I see some few people have joined. The rest will join as the game is going on. We are going to review what we learned the previous lesson. Okay. We are going to review what we learned the previous lesson. 22 members are on the game. Okay. 22 members are on a game. I think 23 now. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Out of 53. Can we quickly join the game, please? This will help us to review what we learned the last week. This will help us review what we learned the last week. Okay. 25 members. I think I can now start. That's a half of the class. 26. Wow, that's good. Just click the link and then we start the game to review what we looked at the last time we met. Okay, let me start. There we are. Okay. Carefully. Carefully, carefully. Make sure you pass everything correct. I will stop the review and then I will teach you what is new. 
Gideon? Hello, Gideon. Gideon, pick up your call. Hey, hey. Gideon is not picking up the call. Fine. Yes, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. Gideon. Yes, teacher. How are you feeling being the best? I'm feeling, I'm, we are feeling great. You're feeling great. Can you imagine? You passed all the numbers. Yes. Have you seen, have you seen your ticks for number one? Yes. What was the answer? Number one. Name, yes. Name the means of railway transport. Name the tra trains. Trains. Aha. Uh -huh. Number two. Give two types of trains. Cargo train, uh, passenger train, passenger and cargo train. Right, you are C in full. Uganda Railway Corporation. Spell the word corporation. C O R P A A A T. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Gideon. Let me get another. Let me get another base, another winner. Another winner is Jasmine. Jasmine, you won for some time, then the boys came and took you over. Yes, Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Pick up your call. Yes, teacher. How are you feeling being number two? I'm just excited. Uh -huh. Name the means of railway transport. Trains. Give two types of trains. Passenger and cargo trains. Write URC in full. Uganda Railway Corporation. Spell the word corporation. Corporation. Yes. C O R P. 
O R A T I O N Corporation. Very, very good. Thank you very much. I want to You're get welcome. another winner. I want to get another winner. Another winner is right here, Fenia. Mm -hmm. Fenia. Yes, Fenia. Pick up your call, Fenia. Yes. How do you feel getting everything right? Good. Spell the word cooperation. Cooperation. C O P R A T I O N. Try it again. Cooperation. Cooperation. C O O C O O. Ah, 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 no, 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 Venia. Do it again. Corporation. C O R C C R C O R C O R P P R Venia, Venia, Venia. No, thank you, Venia. You're there fidgeting. Let's get another person. Let's get another person who has scored it all. Oh, my friend Calixto. Calixto first failed the one number. Let us first get from him. Let's hear from Calixto. Calixto. Calixto is here. Yes, Calixto? Yes, Calixto? Yes. How are you feeling failing this number here? I'm not feeling good. Do you know where you messed up? Yes. Uh -huh, tell me. Uh, just read the just read the answer. Look at the answer on your screen. Yes. Uh -huh. You you did not add S in the word railways. Oh. Uh, and I did it purposely to trick you. Uh, <laughs> Next time you will do it carefully, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So those are a few people who have guided us through the revision, the review of the work we learned last week. Okay. So I am going to take this time to thank all of you for participating. Then I'm going now to share my screen again. And this time I'm going now to introduce what we are going to look at today. And that is water transport okay that is water transport okay so as we start oh sorry chloe you missed next time you join ali so that you will have time to interact with the pz okay so water transport we are saying that water transport is the movement okay water transport is the movement of people or goods on water, okay? This is uh, an example of a water body that can facilitate water transport, okay? It is Bankerson, please, 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 Bankerson, stop that. Bankerson, stop that because I might put you in the bedroom. Okay, thank you. So this is an example of a water body that can facilitate that can facilitate water transport. Can we stop chatting first because it is interrupting me as I'm delivering? Okay, thank you. Another one can be what we have right here. This is a lake. So this is a lake and then this is a river, okay? So water transport is the movement of people or goods on water, okay? The movement of people all goods on water. We have here people, they are moving on water, but also goods can be moving on water. So these are water bodies, the different examples of water bodies that can be used for water transport. We have rivers, we have lakes, we have oceans, we have seas, those we have canals. Those are a few examples of water bodies that can be used for water transport. Allow me to move to the next slide. I hope we are following it very well, okay? I hope we are following it very well. Let's move on. So in this slide, the most important thing is 
the meaning of the word water transport, and then examples of water bodies. Okay, take note of that. The meaning of the word water transport, and then examples of water bodies. Okay, I hope you can give that very well. Let me first move on. I will get back to ask that question. Okay. So as we look at the different means of water transport, I want to start with the simplest of who? Boats. Okay. And I would like also to engage a few of us to tell us other means of water transport. Other means of transport. We have people who joined late. Uh, Chloe is one of them. Yes, Chloe. Chloe. Yes. Yes, Chloe. Sorry, sorry. Pick it again. Pick your pick your call again. Good girl. Good. We have ships. We have uh -huh. ships. Ships. Spell the word. S H I P S. Ships. Okay. Thank you very much. This girl is beautiful. Okay, Chloe, thank you. Thank you very much. You've made me, you've made me happy. I love that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Other other means of water transport. Ah, uh, Benkason, thank you. Grant Birungi, thank you. Very good. Uh-huh. Kana Kairu Kaka, thank you. Grant again, thank you, and many others. Thank you very much for participating on chat, those of you who are giving answers on the chat. I always tell you that we can, uh, Katumba, Joseph, thank you. We can engage you on chat, but also on call. So don't say that I have never been picked since we started these Zoom lessons. And yet I pick you up on chat. Like now, Katumba, Joseph, thank you very much for participating on chat. Trinity, Ram, Ramura, thank you. Joy, praise, Agzum, thank you. Anyole James, thank you very much for participating. Okay? This is what I like. I don't want children to just be waiting to, for me to pick them. Just mean thank you. Uh, Halumumba, thank you. Now let's move on, good girls and boys. Let's move on. Many of the things we have not seen them, and we just uh, hear about them. That's a boat. And this is what my friend was saying, a ship. So this is a ship. It's a very big building on water. Okay? That is it. A ship. A very big building. Giant building with the rooms, hotels, restaurants, diners. Everything is right there. Okay? So another one, another two I have here. Some of you mentioned it. Canoes. Look at the spelling. Canoes. Somebody pronounce for me. Canoes. Uh-huh. Let me hear someone pronounce that. Jasmine is very near here. Yes, Jasmine? Canoes. Good, good girl. Thank you. Another person pronounce for me that. Pronounce for me that. Uh, another one is very near here. Adonai. Mm -hmm. Adonai, pronounce that for me. Adonai? Adonai, where are you? Adon Adonai is not there. Okay, let's hear from Tugume. 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 Tugume is not picking also. Uh -huh. I wanted to hear this pronunciation, how we pronounce these words. Yes, Tugume has picked up. Canoes. Yes, Say canoes. Canoes. Spell it. C A. Canoes. A N O E S canoes. Very good. Next time, don't be far from your gadget, okay? Mm -hmm. So those are those are very good ones. I think we can now pick up the spelling and the pronunciation from our friends there. Peter, I'm coming to you. Uh, who is this one? Brianna, I'm coming to you very soon. And then I'll create. Arika, Arika, I'll get back to you later. Let us first see from our chat. Trinity, thank you. <laughs> okay. Muksa. Okay, let's continue. This is a, a picture of a canoe. Mm -hmm. That's a picture of a canoe. And then that's a picture of a ferry. Okay. A ferry is also another giant 
water vessel. It can carry vehicles, it can carry people, okay, across a water body. It is basically used to connect two rods that have been separated by a very big water body, okay? It is used to connect two rods that have been separated by a very big water body. Some of you have used Lake Choga area. Some of you have used Lake Bissina area. Some of you have used the River Nile as you are going to Moyo from a Germany or, or going to Obongi from a Germany. All those areas, you we have got ferries and the ferries are used to transport people. Okay. Hey, my friend says, but it is small. A ferry, this is a picture, my friend. A ferry is a very big thing. It's a big giant. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Yes, yes, Muksa. I was even going to put you off. Thank you for apologizing, Muksa. Okay. So these are examples of water bodies. We have looked at four, I mean, water vessels. When I say water vessels, I mean means of water transport. Take note of that, good boys and girls. When I say water vessels, I mean means of water transport. We have looked at four, canoes, ferries, boats, and then ships. Take note of that. The spelling of this ship is not the spelling of the ship that we keep at home. Please take note of that, my good learners. The spelling of this ship, I want to circle it. This ship here is not like the other one that is kept at home. Look at this ship, okay? The one that is kept at home. Uh -huh. Let me first ask somebody to give us that. The one, Alit Sarah. But Alit Sarah, you always participate on chat, I'm happy. Let me get somebody else. I had given a, a promise to my friend, Arika. I mean, I don't know the name again. Al Karim, Al Karim. Let me get that person. No, 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 no. Okay, let's first hear from Kezia. Kezia. Kezia has not picked up. So the animal, the animal is spelled like this sheep. The animal, okay? The animal, okay? The animal, okay? The animal is there. And with the animal, we don't put S, okay? So when you are asked, don't please don't write the animal. This will be crossed and this is correct. Take note of that, my good boys and girls. Okay, thank you very much to Gume. Thank you, Marklin. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Okay, so as we continue, those are four simple means of water transport. Four simple means of water transport. Please don't forget them. They are very simple with very good spelling. Okay, now. Let's leave that and move to advantages of water transport. Advantages of water transport. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is very true. Advantages of water transport. Now, water transport is the cheapest type of transport, especially when we are going to outside countries, like somebody has said India. Can a ship also go to India? Can we move up to India on a, on, a, on a ship? Now, that is the cheapest. It is the cheapest type of transport, okay? It is good for transporting heavy and bulky goods over long distance, okay? It is good. We are not saying that it is the best, no. We say the best for transporting bulky goods is the railway transport. But now when we are talking of overseas, pay attention, my good children. When we are talking of overseas, over long distance, outside the continent, okay? Outside the continent, such bulky goods, we would use the water transport. It becomes cheaper than air transport, okay? Because if we are to fly 
if we are to fly like 10 containers, these big containers, it will become very expensive if we are to fly these 10 containers across the Indian Ocean, across the Atlantic, outside Africa. It becomes very expensive. But then if we will use water transport, it becomes cheap, okay? So it is good for transporting heavy, bulky goods overseas or over a long distance, okay? I want you to understand that very well. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jasmine. I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you. Quick time for questions will come, Jasmine. Let's first listen and pay attention. Time for questions will come. How I wish even you just put it on chat. It might be something that we are just discussing right here. So just put your question on chat, then we are able to see and we move forward. Okay. So we are looking at water transport being the cheapest type of transport when you are talking about movement over a long distance when you are going overseas instead of using air transport it is better you use water transport it becomes cheaper but also the advantage that you should take note is that this one is not affected by traffic jam like somebody mentioned on a chat I think I have to quickly appreciate this person who mentioned on the chat. It was Macklin. Macklin mentioned on the chat that it is not affected by traffic jam. And that's very true. Since the water bodies are very big, they are very wide. So you cannot have water vessels jamming in water body. It can't happen that water vessels jam in a water body. That's why I'm saying, and we are saying here that water transport is not affected by traffic jam. You cannot find what you see in Kampala on water. Okay, that's very true. We are going to see that in the disadvantage, Mr. We are going to see it in the disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So the next one is that it is good for transporting goods that can easily break goods that can easily break. The goods that can easily break are called fragile goods. I want you to pronounce that word together with me, fragile goods, okay? Liz, can you do it there? Liz, can you do it there? Pronounce the word. Liz? Liz is not listening. Okay, Bira, Asimo. The people are not picking my call. Why? Asimo? Asimo just jumped away when I mentioned her name. Okay. Let us let us hear from Kasifa Namakuta. Namakuta. Yes? Kasifa. Kasifa? Yes, teacher. Pronounce the word with me. Fragile goods. Fragile goods. Again. Fragile goods. Good girl. Spell the word fragile. Fragile. F-R-A-G-I-L-E. Fragile. Now make the letters 2-2. Two, two. F-R-A-G-I-L-E. Fragile. Okay, teacher. F-R-A-G-I-L-E. Fragile. Very good, very good, very good, girl. Uh huh. That is beautiful. So those are goods that can break easily. Nakato, can you give me example? Nakato, can you give me example? Nakato, Nakato, Nakato. I'm coming to you. Nakato, Nakato. Where are you? Yes, Nakato. Yes, Nakato. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Give me example of fragile goods. Glasses. Mm -hmm. Vessels. Glasses are vessels. Uh, so we just uh, have glass. Yes. Just glass, okay? We just have glass as example. Nakato, don't look for any other one. Uh -huh. Another one is here. There is this friend here. Thank you, glass windows. Markley, there is this friend of mine here. 
that is called, I mean, his name is called Ron. Ron, I wish you use the real name, okay? Let me get him under here. Yes, Ron. Ron? Ron? Ron, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Ron? Sorry, Ron is not talking. Sorry about that, Ron. We can't hear you. Okay, I think we, we, better, we better leave Ron. We cannot hear him. Sorry about that. Okay, glass plates, flower vessels. Oh, wonderful. These are fragile goods, surely. Namuli, just give me the name. Okay. Namuli, thank you. Thank you very much. She has given us fragile goods. Okay. Fine, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. First, we shall come back to the charts later. So, these are the advantages of water transport. Uh -huh. Under the disadvantage, somebody mentioned this answer when I was talking about the advantage, the fact that it is, oh, Benkerson, sorry. Benkerson, sorry, television sets. These are very fragile goods. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, flower vessels are not flowers. Good girls and boys take note of this. Flowers are called perishable goods. Tugume, tomato is a perishable good. Okay? Tomato and eggs, these are perishable goods, not fragile. Fragile are these things that can break easily. We have seen example of plates, glass plates or glass material flower vessels, okay? Those are examples. Somebody mentioned the TV sets. Those are very fragile goods, okay? So let's look at the disadvantage. We say the advantage that it is cheap. It can't again be expensive. There's somebody here who is getting confused, okay? This friend here. Yes, Ron, you can participate on chat. This person called Ron. R O N 99. You can participate on chat because your signal wasn't okay. Okay? You can participate on chat. We shall always give you the chance and praise you and thank you for the good work. Like the way Brooke is doing, Jasmine is doing, Peter, Peter is doing a good job. Okay? So you can also just send your answer on chat. Then we shall, Marklin, thank you. Okay, so the people I have mentioned are trying to give the disadvantages. Jugs, which kind of jugs? You can say glass jugs, okay? Or clay jugs, you, ceramics, those are the things, okay? All right. So people are mentioning there are trying to give the disadvantages, but I want to guide you that water transport is the cheapest. So it can't again be expensive. The only problem that it is slow. So it is the slowest type of transport, okay? That's the disadvantage. It is easily affected by storm. Somebody mentioned that. Easily affected by storm, heavy wind, okay? When we experience storm, it affects so much that people who are in the what? The people who are in water. Okay, all right, and that will, oh, very good. And that will lead to accidents. Uh -huh. That is Ron now. Ron has now started responding. Thank you very much, R-O-N. Why don't you rename yourself so that I can mention your name, like Farida, like Passion, like Muxa. Mention, put those names that the Lord has given you, okay? I don't like those names that you have there. I want the names that the Lord has given you, Peter, Agnole, thank you very much, Agnole, okay? I want those names that the Lord grant, Birunji, Maclean, all right, thank you. So let's continue. I want us to move to other disadvantages of water transport. Water transport is easily affected by storm. We have mentioned it. I'm sorry, I've repeated it there but also it is easily affected by pirates. Now who are pirates? These are what we call, uh, we can call them armed robbers. 
on water, armed robbers on water. We call them pirates, okay? Most of the water bodies have these people, very dangerous armed people, and they launch attack on water. They will take control of a ship and they ask a very heavy ransom. They ask a very, yes, these are real, my friend Virunji. Virunji is saying our pirates real. Yes, they are actually armed people who can take and capture a ship. And when they capture a ship, they will ask from that shipping company a lot of money. That's how they do. And sometimes they even sell the, 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 the goods that have been shipped by that particular ship. Okay? And that will become a very serious case. Yes, Muksa, even me, I hate pirates. They are really very, very bad people. Okay. Not only gold, Liz, they don't only look for gold. Pirates look for anything that is of value. Okay? Okay. I did not prepare the, the picture for pirates because it's not a good thing. Okay. So let's continue. Dangerous aquatic animals. These are animals that live on water. We have some of the water bodies like shallow rivers. Like some of the rivers, they have really very dangerous aquatic animals, dangerous water animals. I want to give you an example. The time I crossed from a Jumani going to Moyo, the river Nile has hippopotamus. They are very, very, very dangerous animals. So a day before we crossed the Nile on a ferry, there was an attack by hippopotamus on fishermen. And so the hippopotamus were very, very wild that day. The ferry was very heavy and noisy, but the hippopotamus were also angry and they were crazy to attack us in a ferry. But good enough, we had some game rangers who kept scaring them by shooting in the air. The game rangers kept shooting in the air until we crossed the Nile in a ferry. But we have got dangerous water animals, especially in the River Nile, okay? But also in other big water bodies, we have sharks. In other big water bodies, we have sharks that can easily attack water vessels, okay? So these are a few of the, okay, we have this one. Waterfalls and narrow gorges can lead to capsizing of goods. Now, when we say narrow gorges, these are like when you look at, when, let me get you this picture of a river. Let me get you this picture of a river. It can explain what we call a narrow, a narrow gorge. Okay, it's here. Now, this is what we call a narrow gorge. You can see this part here. You see this part here. This is a very narrow gorge, a, 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 a place where the valleys of a river get closer to the water body. Okay? I hope you can see these are narrow gorges. Part of a river where the valleys get closer. These are valleys. These are, these are river valleys. Okay? This is a river valley. So you can see the land has come closer to the water. Look at this one also. The land has come closer to the water. So in this kind of a narrow gorge, water transport becomes very difficult. Now, if you are using a very big water vessel across, I mean, on this river, this can be a very big problem, okay? And then waterfalls, I think we all know waterfalls. They are also a problem affecting road, I mean, water users, those people who are using water transport. Okay, yes, yes, I'm sorry I repeated that. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I sorry, Muksa. Muksa, but you are from Uganda. You should be knowing what waterfalls. We have waterfalls here, Seziwa waterfalls. We have very many of them very near here. Okay, so that is a point where a river flows into a water body. It flows and passes a water body. 
somebody has asked me to go back. I was just explaining narrow gorges for children to understand because it's difficult to explain that without a picture. But now people have known what we call narrow gorges, the, 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 the area in a river where the land gets closer to a water body, okay? They are called the narrow gorges, okay? So these are the disadvantages. Ronald, thank you. Thank you, Ronald. They can lead it to drowning. Yes, very good. They can lead to drowning. Ronald, thank you for this participation. They can lead to drowning if a, a boat or if a ship knocks on that, you can easily drown and lose life. Millie, Millie, we have missed your answers. We have missed your answers. Please, can you, okay. Can you come back to chat and give us those? So these are examples of, I mean, the disadvantages of water transport. Those are the disadvantages of water transport. Somebody is here. Okay. Hey, Ben Carson has again renamed himself as Joy. Now, Joy, I will be saying Joy and yet you are Ben Carson. That's not good. Mark, thank you. Okay, what? Uh -huh, Amanda, thank you. If you have a question, please put it on chat or wait for the time for questions. I'm going to give you that time. We just one minute, then we shall go to time for questions. Okay. So why water transport is not used on Victoria Nile? Okay, I think I explained that. I explained that. One of the reasons is that it has rapids. It has rapids. Rapids are stones that are found on water. Okay, the stone is a very heavy stone. They are not moving. Water is flowing, but these big stones are not moving. They are just there like teeth in your mouth. And when you come there with your boat, you can easily turn over. It has very many rocks, okay? And then uh, it has waterfalls, we mentioned that. Another problem is that it has narrow gorges. I think I have explained to you what we call narrow gorges. These are the reasons why water transport is not used across. Okay, thank you. All right, this is now time for the questions. I'm going to ask some questions to people. If you have a question, you can either write it on chat. Okay. Okay, Michelle is here. Michelle, I think has a question. Let's get to Michelle first, and then we shall come to other people also. Okay, Michelle. Michelle, there are two Michelles, and I don't know this Michelle. Let me check this one. Yes? Any question? Any question, Millie? Oh, Millie has no question. Michelle? Yes. Any yes, question, yes. Michelle? Any yes. question? Teacher, we never understood. Please, may you repeat? Time is not with us. You will get this work. You will get this work on YouTube, please. Okay. Yes, and because of time, we, we may not be able to get back to those key points. Sorry about that, Michelle. Uh -huh. Any other question? Mm, Ronald, thank you. Ronald, I haven't got your question. I haven't got your question, Mark. Mark, do you have a question or what? I don't know. Mark? Are ships in Uganda? Hey, Grant. Grant, go to Victoria. Oh, my God. Go to Victoria and you will really see a ship. Uh-huh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no the mermaid is also exist. Fenia, we have given you the example of pirates. I say the pirates are thieves. They are thieves that attack people in water bodies. They capture a ship and own it and ask for big ransoms. They ask for big money to rescue that ship. So about mermaids, I don't know. I don't know what you think, okay? Okay, Peter, uh -huh. Mark, finally, let me get now to Mark. I think uh, Mark's question is serious. I hope it is not about mermaids. Yes? 
whenever I teach. Uh huh. Mark. What crocodiles? Sorry. What about crocodiles? In the River Nile. I yes. Yes, crocodiles are there in the River Nile. Mm. Yes, especially at the shores, the shores of the Nile. You get them there. Very many crocodiles. Somebody is asking, do we have a ship in Uganda? Uh, just go to the, okay. Just go to Lake Victoria. You will see a ship coming all the way from Tanzania, delivering goods. Even if you go to Jinja, you will see a ship. Farida, thank you. A ferry is a Farida, I told you a ferry is there in Imoyo as you are going to Ajumani. I mean, from Ajumani going to Moyo, you will see a ship. From Ajumani going to Obongi, you will see a ferry. Okay. Mm, who else? Hamaranta, she says bulky. Oh, bulky goods are very heavy goods. I gave you example of bulky goods. I gave you examples of bulky goods, containers, those heavy goods that are carried. Okay. The, the Nile has crocodiles, Fenia, very many of them, and very annoyed crocodiles. When you come there, you will be eaten in a minute. Okay, so let's end here. We want to thank you. The questions are all about funny things about water. I want to emphasize these few things as we continue. One, why water transport is not commonly used along the River Nile, especially the Victoria Nile. We have given examples. The Victoria Nile has got rapids, it has many rocks, it has waterfalls, and it has got narrow gorges. Look at the spelling of gorges. Narrow gorges. Take note of that. Now we are going to get back and see the disadvantages of water transport, we have looked at that. We have also seen the advantages. You have asked me many questions. I am also now going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, activity will be there on Google Classroom. Somebody has already asked, teacher, will there be activity? I'm going to send the activity on Google Classroom. These are very good questions. Okay, Benjamin. Benjamin, you are not asking me the question, but you're asking the class the question, okay? Benjamin, Benjamin, let me look for you. Benjamin is here. Yes, Benjamin. Benjamin? Hello, Benjamin. Are you ready, Benjamin? Yes. Please ask your question. Sorry? My question is, why do I read the Arai lessons? Sorry? Arai lesson. Arai lesson, please check on your timetable, Benjamin. On my timetable, last week when I came, I found when teacher Tony was teaching two five mathematics. That was on Friday, isn't it? Yes. Yes, on Friday we changed. We have changed that lesson on Friday. Oh, yes, we have changed the time on Friday. Please, sorry about that. You didn't know the change. Okay. So we are time barred. I'm going to ask one of you to say a prayer. Then we shall end this lesson. Okay. And that I wish I had given that very Benjamin to pray for us. I've left her go. Sorry. Let me get from Peter. Yes, Peter. Peter? I can't Hello? Un... Yes, yes teacher. You can mute, please. Can you pray? Okay. Yes, Peter. Humble yourselves for a prayer. Yes. God thank, God, thank you for passing us through this le lesson that Teacher Solomon has taught us. I pray that we learn and understand it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay. So God bless you, children. God bless you all. I would like to stop sharing and wish all of you a very best of your afternoon. God bless you and God bless Edify. Bye for now.